<clears throat> okay, so today I woke up a certain way. Don't worry about the hair, okay? The last thing you need to worry about is my hair. And by the way, my hair is real. My eyes are real. My nose are real. My lips are real. My boobs are real. My tits are real. My grits are real. And this energy is real. Why am I doing this? This is I'm doing this like an Italian, right? Like, where is this coming from? The Black Sicilian has come to play. Mary Magdalena. Okay, it's that type of day. The moon is in Libra. You know what I mean? No, I don't think you do because you don't know a goddamn thing. Bitches, get served today. Daddy said, baby girl gonna have the last word. I was trying to figure out why am um, I, and I know this ascension symptoms and all this and all that. And I don't know if the 88 port is real or whatever, you know, whatever, 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 whatever. But all I know is today is a seven day. And guess what? I'm a seven spiritual path for real. Don't be twisted by some muggle ass mother motherfucking bitch who's on some, who, 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 who. <laughs> Who's on that shit? Who wanna who have the nerve to act like they're legit and tell you that they got the keys and that yeah, they got those keys, but I don't do those keys. See, bitch, you know what? Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? And really, all my cousins that wanted to come and play in my face, but you don't see them all today. Every single one, at least one of you is gonna die today. That's what I heard. Don't blame me. I didn't put a curse on you. You did that to yourself. You want to come around and you think by sacrificing me, you can save your family or your wealth. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> no. This is how, this is how well I'm aligned with the flow. So, we all been feeling, we're, I told you about how, you know, when the earth goes through this, this, these, these different types of transitions in the universe, it's a much bigger universe. You let, you, you let the little Aquarius people or whoever they be, you know, or, or, or Neil deGrasse Tyson, who, whatever that energy is, it's in the matrix, it's in a grid, and it's in a box, and there's this flat. I don't care. I don't care. What I do know is that animals cater to the weather and cater to nature. They cater to the sun and the moon. You can have some dizzy ass loon, whether it's some loon with tits or loon with dicks who try to sell you this bunch of shit and thank you for the donations. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the gifts. Like I'm supposed to be mad at that shit. Get bitch, I got gifts that you'll never get in your entire life. And this is not hating on you, right? This is not, this is the moon coming through. This is the moon. But this now, this is me trolling you. Who wow. Man, hobby came through. Good God Almighty! I did not know it was a. I didn't. I did not because I just flow the way I flow. I don't wake up and go, "What's the moon in today?" And when I barely know what day it is from day to day, I'm like, I literally have to look at my watch or look at or look at my computer, or look at like what day is it? Okay, it's August. And it's, we don't say August. It's Caesarary night. <laughs> and I never finish saying like why uh, uh, Caesarary. It just makes me feel some kind of way because whenever I was going to school, uh, um, uh, elementary school, junior high school. And up until the point that I could drive from uh, Merkson Road from Bridge Street out to Cape Fear, I used to like not, I, I felt some kind of way about Caesarary August because that meant that I would have to go back and live with my aunt and my uncle because during the summer, you know, I really could have, especially when I got to the age that I was a latchkey kid, which was like any age I wanted it to be. But as long as I wasn't in school, see, I mean, I'm right there at school because, you know, with both my parents in the military, who was I going to stay with? And we lived off and we lived off on Bridge Street, especially when by the time that that would have been OK, they decided everybody on our side of the street was going to go to Terry Sanford. Now, if you if you're from Fayetteville, North Carolina, if you're from North Carolina, that's why I'm saying I put up uh, I put up something. Listen, it's not the coffee today, OK, because I woke up this way, but I'm releasing because I'm figuring why am I still having all this retention and I'm hearing there's something that you haven't released. There's something that you haven't released. And I've actually been holding back. I have been holding back the beast. But hubby came through today. I mean, the I mean the airline, the 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 plane. I mean, it was like because whenever you know, whenever the military flies over this way, it's literally like a sound of thunder. Like back in the day, back in ancient times, did you ever think that what they thought were what they thought was thunder? 
or lightning and stuff was just ancient alien beings in their machine. You know what? That's that's too. Do y'all watch ancient aliens declassified or unclassified or whatever it is? You don't, but you listen to some TikTok bitch. You listen to some tarot ho. You listen to someone showing off their tits and shit, and they got shit to show. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts. Bitch, I have gifts you will never have. And it's so sad that you keep talking about your dad like your dad is my dad. And my dad and your dad are two different things. Your mom and my dad is two different things. If you really had a mom and dad, you wouldn't be doing the shit that you do. But then if you wanted to be friends with me, I mean, like, I can be, fr- I can be friends with a rock. But if I'm not friends with you, then bitch is you. Get this work. You're gonna get this work. Hurt people, hurt people, right? Okay, well, it's time for these hurt people to be hurt. The court is in session and the judge is in town. It's about to go fucking down, 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 down. Woo, y'all wanted to get it. Okay, let's go. So, I didn't know that the moon was in Libra, but I just woke up and feeling some kind of way and I realized it was my husband coming through, okay? Yes, ghosts are a real thing. Gods are a real thing. Goddesses are a real thing. Aliens are a real thing. Spirits are a real thing. <laughs> People don't believe in anything, but you believe in you. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm an angel. I'm a bitch. Who the fuck are you? Pick a decision. <laughs> That's my crew coming through. They said, our babies, our girls up. You know me. I'm ripping for the crew. Because they got a lot of things to do. There's a real war going down. And y'all are trying to tear things from the inside on the ground. Bitch, we're not having that. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. We're not doing that. We got much. We got far more. You know what? By the way, uh, Brian Muller, BMO the Prince. If you're not gay or bi or trans, and I don't think you trans, you handsome whenever you, I will say that, you are a handsome, and you're, and you're quite intelligent and quite hilarious too. This is not, uh, I'm not trying to hit on you, but I'm saying you actually be someone that I would uh, actually love to just like talk to or, 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 or rap with for a little bit. Happy New Year 2007. Anyway. Thank you, Attitude Let's do this again. Happy New Year 2007. Now and David out here in North Little Beach. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Attitude live. Wait a minute. Happy New Year, 2007. Now and David out here at North Little Beach. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Attitude You know what's sad? It's, it's true. Some of you have... I'm trying to be delicate. But then, why should I be delicate to the devil when the devil's not delicate with anyone? The devil likes to troll people for fun. The devil thinks it's funny. It can do whatever the fuck it wants to do. The devil thinks that I don't have to obey any rules. I am the rule. I am the master. I'm the creator. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. And I don't have to cater to everyone or anyone. And if I want to fuck you, I will Fuck you too. Okay, bitch. This is for you. Bring your devils out. Let your devils come to play today. I'm ready. Let's go. A-okay all the way. What happens when she becomes a devil dog slaying these hoes? A bitch is just a bitch, you know. And you're going to learn on this day. I will never mess with Val Jones again. Again, one of you about to die today, or maybe several of you, okay? I wouldn't fly any planes or get in any trains, or I'd watch that DMT, but then go ahead, do all of that. Go ahead, and it's Mercury retrograde too. <laughs> dare you, I dare you, but don't listen to me. Disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. For edutainment purposes only, for edutainment purposes only, but you gonna get this work. You gonna get this work, Aquarius.
this. You're going to get this word. You want to play in my face today? Well, I'm going to play all over the place, okay? Let's go to the daily guidance. The ghost show. What y'all know about that? Num yo ho renge kyo, num yo ho renge kyo, num yo ho renge kyo. What happened to you, Malcolm? You disappeared. A lot of people disappeared from me. A lot of people, so it seems, went for the fame or went for the tea or went for the fee. A lot of people, who has the money to literally go and research you and research you and, and research all of your family and all of your friends and then in order for you to make that person submit to you, you go and you harass all of them. You even harass my doctor. I chose a specific doctor about my health who was about her code. And I knew that was her life. And yet, she just gave up her practice this year. Asians just don't give up their practice. Was that in fear? Did you pay her off? How fucking queer are you? At what cost is it to you to make me become a part of your group, a part of your school? Am I blinking right now, bitches? Let's go ahead and let's do this. You wanted this work, you gonna get it too. You wanted to come into me? I just need to wear her skin. Well, now, bitch, I'm going to be wearing you. Daily Ghost Show says August 9th, Cesarary night, because we don't do August. Blue. Did I finish saying why I don't like Cesarary? Yeah, because anyway, <laughs> when they decided, when they did that dumb ass shit, and really like, you know, and I'm, I'm going back to the Malcolm X movie when certain crackers saying that's too much for a black. And listen, everybody's not a cracker unless you are a cracker. Maybe you're proud to be a cracker. I mean, I know some I know some rednecks that I can hang with. And I know some niggas that, you know what? I You know what? I hope they lynch you all. I said it and I'm in it. <laughs> Give me a reason. I'll put the noose around your neck myself. You kiss no respect. And I'm not going to step for some goddamn motherfucker who want to put me on the block just because they want to be on the top, just because their evil side, their demon side said, you got to be on top. I got to be on top. No matter. No matter. So you're going to be on top of me. You're going to be on top of me. Yeah, some of these motherfuckers do know how to, like, you know, approach you in your dreams. It was that. It was that. I am tapping again. I am tapping. And that's what they see. That's what daddy sucks. Because, see, no matter what. And look. Mm, I can say some names today. Some of you, some of you people in the hip hop industry, in the rap industry, in the activist industry, and the religious industry too. You all sound a little hill songy to me right now. Yes, you do. That's why I don't do organizations, boo, because organizations want to control, control your pocket, control your energy, and control you. Don't you know you cannot control God? And I'm not saying I'm God, but I could be God's daughter, the yard daughter. What if that's true? What if everything I'm saying is true? Hashtag for edutainment purposes only, but I'm only saying that for you or for you too, because actually every thing I'm saying right now is true. But go ahead. Disclaim it. Disclaim it. Disclaim it. You can put that shit on video, but when a person literally telling her story and writing her own book, hashtag the book of valor, the book of faith, whatever it be, reminding you my parents named me faith in reality. What is faith in Arabic? Imani. What is faith in Hebrew? Imunah. Why when I came up, why when I, my husband and I were studying with the Hebrew Israelites, why would you not name me Imunah? I already had a name. God give a name right there, but no, you had to name me Yovia, which was the desire of man. Here I am, the faith of God, but you want to make me desire of man. And how you teach all your women and your men, you know that well, we are we are God, and God's coming through uh, like a woman needs a man to seek God. You know what? That's a motherfucking lie. Oh, that's a lot. All of you motherfuckers who say a woman needs a man to see God. Do you see some of those tarot cards? Have you looked at them? The man's looking at her. She is looking at God. You need us to get to the divine. Bitch, you better get this work and you going to get it today because I'm on fire. I am sick of these goddamn motherfucking fucked up narcissistic beta ass want to rule everything men who think they can get it in any way they want. You gonna get this work today. Aquarius, this is the dawning of the age. That was your problem. You thought that was gonna come through a man. You think everything's gonna come through a man. Jesus is coming back and gonna come through a man. Apparently not. Because you men don't get it. That's why Mother Nature ain't gonna stop. She's gonna wipe y'all motherfucking asses right off the earth. 
and only leave maybe about 144,000. Wow, man. At first, and so many times, I thought that that was just a hypothetical number. I thought it was just like, you know, like a, a, a what you call a word? I can't think of the word right now, but it was, I thought it was just like an example, not like a thing. But, <sighs> August 9th, men, daily guidance. Training is most essential to the young men's division. Therefore, they should not approach activities with a joking attitude. Fostering is basic to the young women's division. In raising the members of the young women's division, you don't have to flatter them. It is important to engrave in their minds a strict stand standard for studying, for living their lives, and for understanding the essence of all things. Now, people would start to think, that that means you have to be so strict about learning. No, the point is, life is meant to enjoy. You know, play as a child. A child is just like, everything is a wonder to them. Everything, you know, playing in nature, looking at the birds and bees, looking at different flowers and stuff. Everything is learning. It's a study. It's a study and you're enjoying it. and they enjoy it because it's a study because they want to learn about everything. A child wants to learn about everything. That's a study. When you enjoy learning, when you enjoy learning, you don't realize that you're studying because you actually are enjoying learning. Some people love to learn. And some people just want to learn so they can hold it over somebody else and they want to control them. That's why you have certain key masters or gatekeepers who want to keep the learning down and only a few can learn. And I mean, I really get that because everybody is not, everybody's not on the same level. I get that. I mean, I really do. I really do. You can't, you can't, I mean, like, you know, you know, babies look at, you know, Pookie from Boys in the Hood and everything. They feel like I want to go shooting too. I want to be like, like, where do we get to that? Where do we get to, where do we get that gangsters and hoes were, you know, were the role models that we wanted to cater to? That that was all right with with black people didn't used to do that. I mean, we were trying to break out of that. We had some people who tried to hold us back with our own shit. And they're not like they invented everything. That's why I say, you know, like to you white people who think, you know, who, you, you all of you people who I am now, it's like, you know, and then some of the people do start to stutter and stuff like that. So then they want to say, well, you know, somebody stuttering. Today. I see a lot of people stuttering, but when I'm stuttering, maybe that's my dad coming out. So, oh, wow. Cause my dad stuttered a little bit. If you look at some of the people on my fat, on my father's side, they stutter a little bit. But when I start to stuttering like that, it's like, this is coming out like really, really quick. And the energy, the, Ju the Jupiter Saturn energy is coming out and I'm trying, I'm listening to my mom and I'm listening to my dad and I'm trying to figure it out because my dad wants to like kill you all and will trust me that's you you messing with the wrong daughter told you that shit will get you killed so Miss Fitz oh yeah she went there she went there what Miss Fitz would you be though because Miss Fitz can be spelled in any kind of way but you know you Miss Fitz who feel like you don't fit in why don't you fit in y'all boy your boy Let's talk about certain movies like Perfect Pitch. Perfect Pitch. Remember that movie? You know, remember that movie when Becca said, that's it. I quit. I'm there. Your boy, you were there too, right? <laughs> what you doing now? You Disney kids. You Disney kids that thought that you were band together like a band of thieves. This is the band. This is the gang. You know, is this what you wanted to see? Did your little leader tell you, we going to do this. We going to do, we going to get her and we going to, we going to use up her energy. That's what you do. You love using up people's energies. Why? Because somebody used up your energy. I got that right. But I told you, I'm not the one you want to have as an enemy. See, now you done found out. You done fucked around and found out to see what you going to try the gang sock me all your and your tay yo ayo 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 t ty t tay whoever it be i don't know versus tay versus t all of you look gay to me i'm just saying if you want to be gay if you want to be by if you want to fuck everybody i don't care but don't you know now, if you're all motherfucker with a photo, if you're all ass mo motherfucking photographer, and you're always turning around and taking pictures, like see not models, models. I want to be a model. I want to be a model. I want to be my. It's one thing when you're taking models of people who are like at age, but when you're constantly taking news of people who are underage, that's pornography, my friend. You can go to jail for that. Let's be real. A lot of people who end up pornography like that, 
They have no filter. That's their shit. They get off on it. You ever seen? It's like it's like porn directors. Porn directors can be seeing somebody do. They be seeing the porn people do porn, and they and they and some people like some people get off on that. You get off on that shit until you get sick. Too many dicks and too many clips in your mouth. Then you want to take everybody out. Bitch, is that how you thought you were going to bring me into your little group? Somebody got to sleep with her so she can be like us too. You know what? I have been celibate for at least 12 years. Please lie and say I've been with anybody for real. Please do. Give me a reason to sue. So I can sue all of you. Italian and Jewish lawyers, stand by. We're going to be rich in 2025. <laughs> I'm not even got to the head witch and warlock yet. I'm just dealing with the kids. The kids. It's not kids. That <laughs> Santa is not gonna take your eye, take your and your misfit toys are gonna be standing on that island this year. Fuck that. You get cold. Literally. <laughs> this bitch. No. Uh <laughs> let me get back to why Cesar is a problem for me. So anyway, nobody wanted to go to Terra Sanford on my blog. Because we were like the best. We were the best. Uh, we were we were the best. I mean, you had a whole bunch of military people, though. You had, we were the best doctors, the best lawyers, best nurses, best counselors, best everybody. And they said that was too much power for black people. So they literally separated us in four different directions. They separated in a mile radius, Mercer Road. In a mile. See, you don't know the Mercer Road of old. You got all these people talking about, now you want to put a million dollars into <laughs> Let me finish. Okay. Let me, girl, stay on point with one thing. Yes, ma'am. Why I don't like Cesarary is because I would have to, when I was going to go to E.E. E. Smith, they decided our side of the street, Mercer Road, would have to go to Terry Sanford. Nobody wanted to go there. Nobody. So we were all scrambling, staying with our aunts and uncles or stand with our cousins or stand with relatives, stand with wherever we, we could. And since I was already, you know, so I was already automatically good because I've been going to county school since uh, first grade because both my parents served in the military, okay? So it's like, well, you know what? I'll just keep going out to Cape Fear. It's something about when you name something fear. <laughs> Cape Fear. There's a reason why Cape Fear should be feared. It's the stories that you don't hear. It's a curse bad when it's duly warranted? Or is it the people who ignore why the curse was put on in the first place and act like it's not there? And they still perpetuate that energy of why the curse was put on in the first place. Pause. Think about what I just said. I just said repeating for the people in the slow class. <laughs> Put the puff down for a minute. Put whatever you're drinking down for a minute. Is the curse bad when it's warranted? I heard the crow. I heard several crows. My hearing is absolutely fucking sensational. Sensational. That might be my new word right now. Sensational. No, but it's got sin in it. Y'all like, sensational. I'm not that type of sin. You know it. Mm, mm, mm. Stick to the point. Is the curse wrong when the curse is duly warranted? Or is it the people who know why the curse was there? And they do nothing to repair the wrong. Or they just ignore Is the curse wrong? Or is the people who fucked up and caused the curse wrong? Y'all need to get y'all priorities straight. Why don't they talk about Charles Waddell Chestnut more in Fayetteville, okay? What gatekeepers are holding the truth back? And why? It's that. You said you wanted a Jesus, you had one, and you crucified him. His wife, too. So you thought. Maybe you did. 
Maybe you don't. Maybe you still do. Anyway, so uh, that's why Caesar has a certain mm, downer side. <laughs> Ironically, Debbie Downer comes through, so the washing, the cleansing has to be done uh, right in front of you. Wow. But I'm okay. I got like a little, little leak in my bathroom, but it's all right. See, this is the thing about that Ma Kali energy. And I told you, Ma be answering me, but I, I respect it. See, some of y'all, like, see that dizzy little bitch. That dizzy, dizzy little bitch, the little misfits, rep, witchy bitch. Y'all be playing with that shit. Y'all be playing with that shit. You be reading books and you don't know. You don't, you're like, you like, you like dumb little. And this is not a knock on autistic people at all. But listen, when you got some fucked up autistic people too, I'm coming for all y'all because listen, you act like just because, well, I, you know, you start to act like Cartman on uh, South Park. Like you can't be judged. You can't be touched. You can just say a label. Well, they're, 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 they're picking on me. It's just like some trans motherfucker that wants to come up to a black woman and have the nerve to say, I'm just like you. And then you stalk her. Bitch, I was slapped the straight right in you. I'm not the bitch. I'm not what you want. I'm not what you want. <laughs> I'm not what y'all want. I'm not what y'all want. You can play that shit if you want to, but bitch, before you even get to me, I will have all my ghosts just murk you for free. Just because I don't like the way you looked at me. People mean mugging. You know, like crazy. You know, me and my crew talking about that yesterday. Like, what is wrong with people? They just mean mugging for no reason. Don't mean mug me because I'll mean mug you back. You know, what is that? Seriously. What would John D. Rockefeller do? I'm still on that cancer type of cat. You know what? I fuck, fuck these other little motherfuckers and these little fake ass gangsters or wannabe gangsters. And we gonna go gangsters. Let's go to the real one. John D. Rockefeller was a one gangster motherfucker when it comes. You know what? <laughs> I can respect that. Say what you want to. I don't believe she said that. No, you don't believe I said that, but you can respect that shit that P. Diddy or Jay-Z or the Smiths do or the Kardashians do, but you have the nerve to look at me because I said I respect John D. Rockefeller a self-made, the world's self-first, self-made billionaire. Let's get this again for the slow people in the room who can't even breathe clean air. John D. Rockefeller, the world's first self-made billionaire. Maybe everything he did wasn't right, but everything he did clearly wasn't wrong. You still got people wanting to be a Rockefeller. Is that the time you're on? We have different Rockefeller goals. That's all I'm trying to say. Don't make me into none of those hoes. I'm not your pro, it's in your prostitute. But I'll make your motherfucking asses destitute. You came for the wrong one. I'm not Rihanna, boo. You want to hold me up? You want to hold me outside of a window? You want to dangle me? Now God's getting ready to dangle you. You want to send these little sub, little incels, these little bitches too? You want to send all your Houston crew? Bitch, I'll slap. You know what? Hurricane season just started. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> yes, NASA in the house. I used to love that shit. I used to like sit with my little box and my little like I I, I was into that shit. I was into that stuff. I was it, I was bored. That's okay. So of course, you know you you the alignment is there. It's sure right in front of your face. Oh my God, they cannot handle me today. But I am releasing. I'm releasing. I got to get this stuff out. So uh, mommy said slay. Mo now mommy and daddy said slay. But I'm trying to do it creatively. I could call you all kinds of bitches and tricks and everything. I could like really, 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 really name. And I have named some names. But you know what you're going to do? You're going to sue me? Go ahead, boo. Make me rich. Italian, Jewish lawyers. Fuck these niggas around here. Because <laughs> they're all on the T and the fee. None of them don't mess with me. Some of them have the nerve to be my frat brothers, too. These frat, this fraternities and sororities. I thought this was supposed to be about binding and love, but that's not what you all do. It's an, everywhere it's just around here in Fayetteville, because this place is corrupt as hell. Everybody in some type of power is, corru is a corrupt motherfucker. But because they want to make me a slave, they want me to work. They want to make me work for them. See, my daddy tried to save you, and then you, and you literally, in your own way, you lynched him, you financially lynched him, he tried to lift you up he tried to do so much, that shit is true, I really did not get it, but yet I do 
because I really didn't want to go down this route because I knew I knew what the, I mean how did I know how did I know how did I know and that's why I didn't want to do it that's why for everybody I'm a chosen one I'm a chosen one I'm like you know what you flaunt that shit but do you know what happens if you really are that shit more importantly do you know what happens when you're not that shit because reminding you, you're the one that prospects. I'm chosen. I'm chosen. I'm chosen. So you got on the radar. But was that really how you wanted to be on the radar? Now you got to clap your ass for the rest of your lives and clap your ass back to hell. Well, well, well. Maleficent said, welcome to hell. Messing with me is hell. Bitch, think I'm going to turn my ass up and let them suck all that, put all their dicks and clicks in me? Bitch, think I'm going to spread my legs open and have her lick me? I will, I will cut that tongue right out your mouth and bury it deep, deep, deep with a lot of bodies down south or north or east or west. We got a problem. You don't want a problem with me and I'm not just talking. Incense. My house still smells like dragon blood sage. I mean, my the dragon blood just, 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 just. I mean, it just burnt all the way down. It usually doesn't burn that, but it's like, ooh, y'all trying, y'all are trying. What is this about? And all I keep seeing, I'm looking at a picture of my daddy right now, and hear my mom in my head. We knew you would figure it out, and that's that's the thing. We are. That's just our life. But you're our child. So we know we knew you would be equipped for this fight. You're not going to lose. You never do. You just sometimes have to change up your attitude. You have to get your mind focused. But you got a clean house too. So that's what you're doing. You're cleaning the house and you're telling the truth. What does it say? Tell the truth, shame the devil. So I'm shaming the devil today. The devil wanted to shame me. Humiliation rituals. Well, now it's turned. <laughs> Do you like what you see? <laughs> Do you like what you see? So uh, anyway, uh, let's do poetry today. My poetry book is coming out before the end of the month. <laughs> Sometime in Caesarary. Did I finish giving the story of why I don't like Cesarary? So, yeah, so I had to go back and stay with my aunt and my uncle instead of staying. Because I it always it always made me sad when I, when I have to leave my mom and my dad, even though I saw them every weekend. I mean, it's one thing, you know, when you're a latchkey kid. You know, I've been a latchkey kid from a really, really young age. But on the weekend, but I'm in school. So, I'm unlike you, I, I went to school every day. Very rarely did I miss a day in school. You know, I didn't always get a perfect attendance, but very rare. I was a skipping school and skipping class like you. I was doing 50,000 things in school. I mean, I was a, I was on the beta club. I was uh, a cheerleader. I was uh, on the track team. I was the, the boys' baseball team, bat girl. I was uh, the girls' softball team, statistician. I wanted to play softball. I mean, really hard pitch softball, baseball. Seemed like I remember baseball. I didn't like softball, especially that 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 slow long pitch. I hated that shit. But when it was that fast pitch, that's my shit, man. That's anything like baseball. It's like you know something that takes long and slow and arching. I hated it, hated it, cause I'm like I'm thinking a thousand one, a thousand two, and then you got to, I hated that. But anyway, I wanted to play. So we did fast pitch. Uh, in in the county schools, at least we did, and I wanted to do that, but because my coach felt like I was better, or she wanted me at track. And I mean, I actually I was good at track. I just was doing it to get out of class. I am I love watching the Olympics, and I can respect that grind. I love that shit, and I love that real team spirit. I love the relays. That was my shit. The relay races. I mean, because I did. What did I do in track? I did I did the hurdles until I like no. My cousin was a champion hurdler. 
and he was trying to teach me to do the hurdles. Listen, I'm short and stuff like that, but I just didn't like to, and I think they assumed. See, that's what you assume, like, in family. Like, well, your cousin is a champion hurdler. That doesn't mean I am. I did not like doing the hurdles. I could do anything I wanted to. I guess that's the thing I'm telling you. I, can, I am tapping again, so I'm going in. I can, anything that I put my mind to, I can do it, and I will always excel in whatever I do. So if that means like doing a freestyle or a rap or, you know, like, you know, serving all of you a different type of way, I can outdo you every day, every night. Bitch, you come up against me, it was never going to be a fight. It was going to be a slaughter. So you want to talk about slaughter? You want to talk about slaughter? 21 Savage Slaughterhouse. Bitch, I am the slaughterhouse. Hey, who has so much money that they feel like they got to do this shit just for a show? We're gonna make her submit. Why? To some dumb shit and did not help each and every single one of you. Was I supposed to die January 26, 20, 2020? When Tyler, the creator, won the Grammy. My boyfriend won that Grammy. While this motherfucker is telling me you need to get to the hospital. Wasn't you? Well, it was somebody in your crew. Was it your mammy or your peppy? Which one was it? Have you noticed since 2020, these motherfuckers been going down the drain? Insane, isn't it? The synchronicity, the alignment of it, the derangement of it. The derangement of the arrangement. Now you're playing my game. Hello, Maleficent is in the house. Oh, you do what? <laughs> I'm savage now. <laughs> Auntie Val. I had people call me that. Hey, Auntie Val. I have no nephews and no nieces. Fuck these hoes. I don't have none of them, yo. I only have absolutely one. I mean, absolutely one God doing it. And I told you one time before. If you touch a hair on her head, you are dead. Listen. When it comes to legal eagle shit, you don't want to mess with the other Pisces because you really don't want us to become that bitch. We can out bitch all of y'all, and we are like really like we are like really hardcore. There's something about Pisces, the morality of it. Like we are like uh, when we are when we are like in our morality mode, bitch. We'll. <laughs> God, you didn't know. You never do. That's the whole thing. That's why we're after everybody. We're the culmination of all of you. And so all you can do is call us delusional and you try to do this little hate that you do, this little humili humiliation ritual to act like we don't understand our own greatness, but some of us do. You can't touch us. You never could. And we were always going to be better than you. We're born to be that way. That's not all Pisces, okay? Because I'm telling you right off the bat, there's some Pisces that are fucked the fuck up. Honestly, I can count on one hand and, and have some fingers left over of how many Pisces I fuck with. Do so you think it's right? Pisces gang gang gang? Because mm. it's like Gemini's. It's like everybody. It's like all the signs. If you haven't learned, you still on your low side. You can talk that shit all you want to, but <laughs> that's a lie. Let's do some poetry today, okay? My book is coming out soon. You'll know when it's no. This is for, uh, since the moon is in Libra, this is called More Than Anything Else. David's song. My husband's name was uh, Weldon David Baker. You should know that by now since some of y'all went through all the records and stuff like that. And this was, uh, ironically, this was written... Good thing I have dates. That's why I said I have receipts. I have receipts and dates and pics and a whole bunch of shit. You want to play with me? Bitch, you better get your lawyer. You want to sue me? And I and like I said before, I don't want these little local muckle muggle ass, you know, uh, lie detector tests. I want first grade, first rate, top gun, military grade lie detector test. I mean, the one that's... The one that's the shit, the one that has been approving and approving and approving over and over and over again. 
you know, that they're going to work. <laughs> they don't, they don't play. They don't make a mistake. Oh, I want those. Let's go. Me and you, me and you, me and you hook us both up to the lie detector test. So what you're going to, what you're going to do? Well, you know how some psychotic people, they can like, you know, the lie detector test won't be able to tell their lie. Okay. That's the story you want to tell. Okay. I think by now you've the FBI, the CIA, the special ops and everybody who've come my way say, oh, no, she, 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 she's a, she's a shit as a motherfucker. We like her. She's one of us. Thank you. I am. Who knew? God. And God is too. It's a legacy. These hoes thought I was going to be Jayla. Mommy says Dunkin' Donuts are for poor people. I don't know. I'm a Krispy Kreme girl. Why is there no Krispy Kreme on this side? Why do I have to go all the way to Fayetteville to get Krispy Kreme? Or at, I know, well, you're at Circle K, but, you know, I don't want to go to Circle K to get Krispy Kreme donuts. We need a Krispy Kreme over here. Can we get a Krispy? We got, we got Dunkin' Donuts. We got Dunkin' Donuts in the middle of, there's a coffee shop that's literally like about 500 yards on one side of it. You got Starbucks that's about a mile and a half up the road on base. Several of them, in fact, okay. You got Starbucks is down here by Walmart. It's about three or four or five. I mean, I, so, I mean, I know Starbucks is like overrated and a lot of things, but I'm telling you, their coffee can't be, they, 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 whatever their recipe is. I told you it's legal crack. Why do you think they put it on a military base? They know. You don't find a Dunkin' Donuts anywhere on a military base. So, because military people, Top Gun people like Top Gun shit. So, you know, me and Starbucks, like, they were, so, they were serious when I'm like, oh, y'all were serious when you say, you and us, kid. We stick, I've been getting all of that. Like, I haven't seen, like, we stick together, together forever, together forever. I'm like, oh, the alignment is there. Like, oh, I was aware, but yet not aware. But I mean, I'm just enjoying it. So, see, I was already in a study. I was already in a class, but I was having, you know, so much fun or just, you know, studying everything that it, it you know, just, anyway. But it's a legacy. But y'all want to play so I'm going to soldier. Well, then you know what? You got exactly what you got exactly what you deserve. You a bitch that got a bitch. And you wonder why you can't get with me. Because you a bitch. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no need for two bitches to be up in this house. I realized that I had dealing with some people who are seriously jealous of me, and I couldn't figure it out. But I wasn't looking, and I look back at that now, like like they were always doing some side shade comment, or they were always like nervous and twitchy. Like, or they're like, who, who comes to your house and brings a spoon in your bathroom? Who uses a spoon in the bathroom? I don't have spoons in my bathroom. But this person came over and, and you, this is the same person that tried to have me side over some shit or always follow them on some shit. You can't find them anywhere, okay? They were never legit. They even said, they even said something to the fact like, well, you know, we all got a little kind in this and that's just who I'm going to be. So you got to listen to that energy because they're telling you who they are. But you don't want to hear it because you want to see the best in everybody. But a con will be a con. If somebody tells you they got a little bit of con in them or they're always con and shit like that, and they say it repeatedly, please believe that. And please believe they will con you too. People that I consider good friends threw me under the bus. Now you want to spin the block and think I'm going to let you back in? Bitch, I will fuck you up on so many levels. It's a good thing. I have really good friends that keep me from unloading a whole box of gold dots on you. I mean, I got 12 rounds, but once those 12 rounds, we reload it. 12 more. You know what? That's what I do. Don't elect a president that will enact a purge because I'm coming for all of you for free. Huh. <sighs> More than anything else, David's song to my husband, 10606. Do the numbers on that. More than anything, he wants to know that I love him. 
I could give him Rolexes and clothes and all those things that bling, you know, all those things that bring so much joy to some people at first. Till the shine starts to fade and the value goes away. No, that does not quench the thirst of my man. Because he wants something that will last. He wants something that won't pass into oblivion because of depreciation. My man, more than anything else, wants appreciation. He wants to know that I will always look at him like he is the only one. He wants to know that I will always think of him as the finest under the sun. Money, clothes, and things that bling, he can give himself. But companionship? It's a gift of someone else. And he wants to know that I feel stimulated by him, not only sexually, but sensually and intellectually. He wants to know if he can finally be free to love and be loved by me. He wants to know if this is real. He wants to know if I feel as much for him today as yesterday. And if tomorrow I'll feel the same way more than anything else. He wants to know that I really love him on this day and forever. And I can honestly, without hesitation, say, I do. I wrote this for my husband back in October 6, 2006. That clip you saw earlier, I'll show it again for those of you who just came late and missed it. Where we're at. Now you want to mess up again? Come on. That's just me at the beach. Attitude lives. That's just me at the beach. But uh, where is the where is the other one that I was going to like? Where we're at. Why you wanted to show that? Because I wanted to show my husband. Uh, where's the previous list? Now you want to mess up. Now you don't want to play that. Now you don't want to play it. What's the problem? You know what is that? It's like once you show it, they don't want to see it again. And it's it's that. It's really it's that man. It is that. Y'all some salty ass bitches. Y'all. Some Happy New Year 2007, now and David out here at North Little Beach. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Attitude lives! <laughs> New Year 2007, now and David out here at North Little Beach. Y'all some salty ass motherfuckers because you've never had a love like this. And there's a reason why you haven't. Because you're a bitch! Salty ass truck. Salty as trying, as cunt, as slow, as ho, as want to fuck with the wrong one, bitch. You want to play devil games? Well, bitch, here it is. The moon is in Libra today. Have you ever seen a Libra <laughs> when they're on a sleigh? Woo! We're in Florida. Ah, uh, you know what? Florida. Who, why, why am I itching? Why am I itching? Who's twitching today? <laughs> Dave Chappelle, what's it? What's the crack handle, Dave Chappelle? Why am I itching all of a sudden? Like I done made somebody start to itch. Oop, whoop, there it is. Look, neighbor, look to the left of you. Look to the right of you. If you see someone doing like this, then it's them. That's it. Woo! <laughs> Let's do another poem. My poetry book's coming out, and uh, I don't know what the name of it's going to be, but you know, if I if I tell you what the name is going to be, then there'll be 10, 20, 30 clones of poetry books coming out just the same way. But no, you'll know when it's me, because I'll tell you, I rep for myself. What would John D. Rockefeller do? No, I don't need your help. No, I'm not going to rep for you. No, I don't want to be an ambassador for you, and I don't want you to be an ambassador for me. I do my stuff by myself. All of this will be about me. I make my money, I'll get my money. I don't need you for nothing. Some of y'all done bought into that bullshit that they do. You think that, that Bitcoin money's not coming back? That FTX money's not coming back? And let's talk about NFTs, okay? NFTs, how gullible for you? I'm saying like, this just look like clip art clip art shit. It's one of two things. It either looks like clip art shit that you colored in or 
you just, you know, do what, you know, you just take pictures and you just, you, and, and you make it look artsy, like with the filters and stuff like that. And then you say, and then you say, I'm saying, this is art. No, that's clip art or that's pictures that, that you took from somebody else. And then you just use that filter that made it look like art. And then you said, we're selling these for a thousand. Buy NFTs, buy NFTs. That was, I mean, I'm looking at, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't even see how this is money. You are spending thousands and thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars that you don't have, by the way. But you were told you were going to get it. You'll be the first to get in. You'll be millionaires and everybody will be po. Because when this economy hit the flow, you're going to be one with all the dough. They suck at you. Should have asked the oracle. But now you're all oracles. Oracles all over the place. Here's an oracle card. Here's an oracle card. Here's an oracle card. Nobody told you that that, that Bitcoin and that, that FTX and that NFT money was going to go away. It was never money in the first place. It was a scam. It was a con. Wow. Elon Musk, what type of shit are you on? When Kevin of Shark Tank got fooled too. And I thought Kevin was supposed to be a genius. Oh, well, what kind of genius are you? But yet Val Jones says she's a genius. And Kanye says she's a genius. I, I said she, I don't even know what that's about. But I'm like, next thing you know, everybody on YouTube said, I'm a genius too. I'm a genius too. We all are geniuses. We all are sharks. We all are geniuses. Bitch, today I'm slaying all of you. All of you who are not in your integrity, you can't do a goddamn thing for me. I don't want to hang around you. You can't sit with us. Nah, bitch, let's get that right. You can't sit with me. Hey, you better, you better watch out because you know what? You know what? They might be coming to your hood. Like, you know, you better be careful. I'm always careful. Do you see what's flying over me? Do you know about raptors? I don't think you do. You know, a raptor can roll right up on you. <laughs> you will never know it's there. I'm talking to some Russian people too and Chinese people too. So you might want to beware or whoever you be. I mean, that includes you too out in Israel. Don't war with me. I don't have a war with you. But if you want a war with me, you know what? I'll bring my whole damn family. And they're kind of busy right now. And I'm looking at them like I want my men and women to come back safe because they got families, real families that they care about. Unlike you motherfuckers, okay? Y'all don't give a shit about family. You don't know real love. You don't know real hugs. So you just want to fuck everybody up. Bitch, maybe you just need a hug or a Snickers bar or something more than a salad. Get a burger or something and get that dick out your mouth. Oh, that, oh, oh, that fuzzy bar. <sighs> I'm going to sleep for two or three days after this. <laughs> Humor is healing. Yes, I'm that kid. Daddy says, that's my girl. Mommy's like, oh my God. But I love it. I rock with this shit. Sagittarius, the Sagittarius and the, the Sagittarius and the Leos coming high vibing, high vibing. Y'all want to play on Sagittarius and Leos? I mean, I'm going to tell you, there's some Sagittarius and Leos that can, don't come around me with that bullshit. I will just kill you for free. <laughs> I'm bad, bitch. You want to play Words of Power? Okay! <laughs> Let's do that! <laughs> Let's do that today! I got some Words of Power for you! Do <laughs> <laughs> mommy kicked in through <sighs> mommy said do a poem do a poem do a poem do a poem do it in a poem do it in a poem do it in your creative self yes ma'am yes ma'am okay <laughs> I just dropped my keyboard all right uh you know the <laughs> this is called what did I write this I wrote this uh I wrote this in uh June 19th 2006 June 19 2006 you know the trouble is aka is real in the ville but J. Cole don't know who I is then continue to not know me you ain't your whole dream Velcro because now I really don't know any of you that's what you wanted and we won't even talk about that last inner. And we won't even talk about, I don't even know what that was, but seriously? No. 
Because I really don't think you're about that life, but you might be. You're an Aquarius, so we'll see. Uh -oh. You better watch your circle. And that's all I'm going to say. And that includes your little misfit friends, too. You motherfuckers spell watch your circle. Tell. Remember when I was literally repping for all of you and I was playing you all's music and stuff on my show and I was like repping you guys and I didn't know that this Mr. School shit that you do was really about coming in and trying to get people and using their energy and trafficking them. Actually, all and, and there's a, and there's a couple of, uh, okay, that's right. We're going to my expertise now. So the teacher's going to teach. See, I needed to take my own skills seriously, but I didn't. See, it's always been about the creativity and the poetry and the art for me. But when it comes to money, money is real because tangible money, you know, pays the bills. Not money that you think is going to come, but it's not going to come. Y'all got scammed by people who are already damned. So they didn't give a damn away. Did they damned you or not? So you think, you know, they feel some kind of way that you're out on the streets or that you put you out. They don't. They really don't feel any kind of way. They literally have the devil at heart. They have no soul. They have no heart. They have nothing. They're empty incels and succubuses too. So that's why I say, you know, bitch, you know, bitch, witch, warlock, and your whole goddamn crew. I will slay all of you for fun. If all, 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 all of the, if, if. If certain people came to me today and said, Val, if we'll take care of you for the rest of your life, if you handle these people, and they know I can in a variety of ways. Why is my hair sticking up? Like an antenna, okay? Mommy says don't go no further with that. Okay. For free, though. I'll take a nap and I might change my mind what I was getting ready to say. I doubt it, though. You know, the trouble is, and again, written, uh, what was this? June. June 19th, 2006. Y'all keep receipts like this and poems, too. Jewish lawyers, Italian lawyers, the best, the best of the best. I mean, the ones who really want to make money. Because <laughs> reminding you, this is from my work. I'm not just suing you. Just to be suing you. I'm suing you because you did some dastardly shit that I tried to let go, but you can't let, let go. So, bitch, I'm going to bury you deep in a hole that you'll never be able to get out of for the rest of your life. And you going to hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I told you that strife you wanted to cause everybody else and cause on me, you should have left me alone. You were told multiple times, let that girl go. Set her free. No, she's with us. I have never been with you, but I tried to lift some of your muggle ass kids up and then you want to steal from me? Bitch, you steal another alien and God is a little bar or whatever it is from me. I get anxiety. You're going to have more than that. You better put that nut job in the nut board. All you belong in the nut board or the grave. I give no fucks today. Don't play with me. It, it's more than an apology. Much, much more than an apology. Apology means nothing when people don't change what they do. You need to forgive. I don't have to forgive a goddamn thing, boo. Fuck you mean. Somebody's got to serve justice and I am the queen. You got to forgive them. You know what? Is that what you know you telling the judge when the judge is getting ready to lay down the law on some uh, uh, on some habitual thief or some habitual killer or some habitual slaughterhouse motherfucker? Well, you got to forgive them and let them go. Then they go off and do the same thing, yo, because they feel like there's no penalties on me so I can get away with it again. Bitch, you don't know how that works. That's not math. From beginning to the end, if it don't make sense, it don't make sense. When people cannot repent or don't change their demonic evil ways, then somewhere down the line, they must be slayed. I'm not saying I'm the slayer or the destroyer. I'm just saying I'm a divine daughter. And bitch, none of you hoes can touch me on not any day. You know, the problem is, a.k.a., it's real in the Ville. You know, the trouble is. <laughs> you know, the trouble is people are happy. And people got a right to be happy. And we should be happy that they're happy. They got their big house, their big car, their big bank account with the big check. And even bigger payment coming out each month. So what that people died and leaders lied and schemers spied? 
while children continue to slide down the road to hell. I mean, am I the only one who can tell that little LaQuisha and little Jabberwocky going to have a hard time getting jobs with a name and look and mindset like that? Unless you like saying, welcome to McDonald's. May we please help you? Shh, bitch, back, back. Still is true. You know, the trouble is people are happy. And people got a right to be happy. And we should be happy that they're happy. They got their big house, their big car, their big bank account with a big check. And even bigger payment coming out each month. So what if gas is high and salaries are low and jobs are going overseas as fast as they can go? I heard that boom, boom. My troops up. They're always up. This is not just for a show. While more and more people I see are heading to the pawn shop and the liquor store. Still, it ain't bothering some of y'all, though. Like, you don't even know that crime or job layoffs can't be stopped by a gated community or even 50,000 locks. But you figure, they'll never happen on your block. Well, believe me when I say, your block, too, is hot. Still... You know, the trouble is, people are happy, and people got a right to be happy, and we should be happy that they're happy. They get their big house, their big car, the big bank account with a big paycheck, and even bigger payment coming out each month. So what, the, so what they're trying to front like is all that in a bag of chips, while they give away all their resources to political crack dealers and religious pimps. Addiction is addiction, whether it's the pocket or the pipe. Somewhere down the line, we fell for the hype. That shiny things are always good, so we traded our gold and goodness in the hood for these big old fake-ass gold and platinum chains with nice big Jesus pieces and pimp hats with matching coats and canes looking ghetto freaking fabulous everywhere we go. Don't we really put on one hell of a minstrel show? Oh, and don't forget the match of whip accessories included with a song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. The saved a wretch like me. Please, how long we keep singing about being free? Haven't we played this song in this story before? Slavery of the body, mind, soul, and more. Jeez. The last poets were right. Niggas are scared of revolution and are content with persecution. So why should I set myself up for execution for niggas who don't want to be free? I remember saying, I remember seeing this lesson not learned over and over again in history. And it wasn't very pretty. Yes, I was blind, but now I see. Thou must not cast thy pearls to swine. Unless thou courts a troubled mind. Because you see, the trouble is, people scratch that. Niggas are happy with nothing. Damn. And evidently crackers too. I mean, let's face it, I can talk about all hues. I can talk about the Indians, the indigenous. I can talk about Caucasians. I have every DNA today. Who do I need to slay that's going the wrong way? All of you. You want to know why Lumberton is the way it is? Incest is a horrible thing, kid. Why do you think that, you know, the real Native American tribes won't let them into their tribe? Am I lying? Am I lying? And you got some witchy asshole who always wants to steal my name and everything about me, yo. Just all Joneses aren't the same. And these Joneses around here that want to claim that they know me, you know what? If I see any of these bitches in my face, I can't promise you I'm going to kill them for free. You want to play witchcraft games on me, bitch? Didn't your husband die from that same shit? That you be pushing, no lie. You know what? Didn't I sell you? Didn't didn't I say you one time before when he wanted to come up to the station and beat your ass him up? Let's talk about the station I worked at where everybody was sleeping. Y'all like really? My husband did not. I feel I feel bad for my husband. You know, my parents said this industry thing is not good for you, and my husband saw that too. And we have we kind of had a fight about that because I didn't realize at the time because I was so into doing what I was doing. But it was true. He was he came from an alcoholic and uh, he came from a, a life that I didn't know. But, you know, you have to learn. That's the experience in life. But at least with that, I learned through love. And I'm still, you know, the legacy is still there 
that I'm protected. Now I just it, I I I'm good. If everything is taken away from me, if everybody I've ever known is taken away from me today, I'm still good. But the point is, he saw how being around I was I'm always good for the entertainment industry. I'm always good. I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be the star player wherever I go. There's a bitch here and I call you that too because you're still acting a little bitchy to me. All of y'all did that shit. All of y'all like phone Voltron, but you know what's Voltron to Metatron? Nothing, bitch. We're on different teams, different levels, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, I have all these hoes. It's nothing like it's nothing like a hoe who turns overly religious. Those the ones, those the ones that suck more dick, suck more click, did a whole bunch of things, but all of a sudden they're religious to shit. You don't even know. Shirley Caesar cursed people out like crazy. You mess with Shirley Caesar's dope shit. She curses worse than me. I've seen what some of these religious people do. They have their little concerts and shit like that and then go to Las Vegas and freak out and tweak out on coke and everything else they'll be up on that stage drunk you don't know it's like a clown you ever tell us how clowns are not happy clowns are supposed to be the happiest people in the world but clowns are sad most clowns i know are alcoholics so you can smell the alcohol and maybe i can't because my nose is just like that but these bitches wanted to play with me and so many of them i helped in radio around here for free jane doe where you at bitch but you want to say this person helped you. So I didn't help you when you came from uh, whatever the little mug molest station is uh, on uh, downtown that you still haven't. You know, it's people like own stuff just to be owning stuff, but they don't want to make money. They just, I own something, but you don't want to, you, you have a business, but you don't want to progress the business. What type of, well, I own, because I own something, but you're in a business but you don't want to make business that makes no sense but that goes to that gatekeeper shit remember there's only three attitudes here it's only three that's all you got to know when you come here and this is to all my military there's only three and this may be all around the world but definitely when you come here it's only three attitudes slave slave master and troublemaker never let a person from the church or a person from politics tell you which one is which I'm telling you, Roger Bat, slave, slave master.